Yeah. <coughs> this is quantum physics for babies. Are you a baby? Yes. Yes, you are a baby. Okay. Now, what is this? Ball. That's a ball. And like a, uh, a ball. you have a ball. Can you see two balls over here? Where are the balls? Yes. And in the house, can you see the balls? You can see them. Okay. Now, all balls, if you like, take this and put this close. What is this? Yes, it's a magnifying glass. If you take a magnifying glass and you put it into a ball now, and you see inside the ball, then inside you have small, small things called yeah, atoms. Energy. Yes, you have atoms and they have energy, right? And inside every atom, now, you have three things inside every atom. One, two, three. That's right. One, two, three. You have these red balls that are called protons. Say proton. Proton. That's right. And you have these purple balls and they're called <coughs> neutrons. Say neutron. <coughs> neutron. That's right. And then you have the green balls that are going around the, the protons and neutrons. And what do you call these? Do you know? What do you call them? <coughs> Electron. Electrons. You have protons and neutrons in the middle. And you have electrons going around them on the outside. And this is the whole thing is an atom. And ball, if you look inside a ball with a magnifying glass, now, you'll see the atoms and this is what you'll see. But it has to be a very strong magnifying glass. <coughs> After this is the end. Huh? After this is the end. After this is the end, that's right. But before the end, right? What we can see is electrons, no? They can jump from here to here to here. But they can't be in the middle, that's right. They can only jump from here to here and from here to here. But can they be in the middle? No, no they can't be in the middle, right? <laughs> now, otherwise, they'll fall down. Otherwise, they'll fall down. Yeah, we don't even know what will happen because they can't be in the middle. Now, all electrons, no? they have what? Energy. That's right, they have energy. So, if you want to get an electron... Yeah, electrons with zero energy, they don't happen. Every electron has some energy. I need a lot of energy. Yeah. So what is this? Energy. This is energy. And when you give energy to this electron, where does it go? Where does it jump? From the sky. No, it jumps from here to where? Here. That's right, it jumps from there to there. And but when? It in the middle. But it can't go in the middle, no. And when it falls down from here to here, what does it give out? Yeah. What does it give out? Food. It's not food. It gives out energy. So, if you want the electron to go from here to here, you have to give it energy. Is it wrong? Huh? Is it, is it wrong? It's wrong for an electron to be in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. This is saying that it's not okay for an electron to have zero energy. Electron has to have what? At least one energy, right? And this one has two energy. And this one has three energy, like one, two, three. So if you want to take it from two energy to three energy, you have to give it what? Energy. Energy, that's right. And if it goes from three energy to in, two in, energy. In three minutes, they will all the same energy find out when yeah, it goes from three energy to two energy. Then it gives off what? What does they come out? What comes out of the atom? Ball. A energy comes out of the atom. No? Yeah. Okay. And the ball. And the ball. That's right. The energy comes out of the atom, and because the atoms are inside the ball, energy comes out of the ball. And the ball and the That's right. And because the energy has come out of the ball, the amount of energy inside the ball goes Talk less. About. Yes. Only oh, baby you understand quantum mechanics? Yeah. Oh very good. <laughs>